Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Friday prayers. Really great that you're joining myself, um, Angie, Mads, and Josh. Uh, Josh is new here on the team here at RVBBC, and he heads up as our ministry intern, so he does a lot of things. And today we are just praying together. You know, one of the things that's come up on my heart this week, on Wednesday we were praying for RBM specifically, a local company here that is just facing an, uh, an unknown future. And I really felt that today I still need to pray for the families. I know there's a lot of people that are anxious and worried about their future. Uh, and just really feel that we need to continue praying into that situation. Uh, one of the messages that did come through was from one of our leadership, uh, from Carol. Uh, she has been ha having to find a place to, say, to stay. She's actually sold her house. Uh, and she was holding on to God for a place to stay. She needed to rent somewhere and was trying to find a place that could take her and her animals. And so she really waited right up until the last time, the last moment when God came through. And she just wanted to send a praise item for that. Uh, that God, as she held and clung on to Him, He provided for, for her. Mm. And so Angie, on your heart, what's been happening this week? Yeah, so I've just really been feeling that um, there's, you know, people, not just within our community, but within our own church walls that um, have empty cupboards at home. And mm. I just, I really feel like, you know, some of them are, Maybe a little shy to come forward and, and ask for help. Um, and I just want to pray for provision for those families. Good. And Mads, worship ministry and that. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I just have such a sense that people are really struggling in the sense of finances. Mm. It's all really coming back to that. And I think um, one, of our, one of our team members, Maritza, has spoken about in one of the prayer requests that she she really wants to pray for finances and work for mm -hmm. for um, her fiance Craig and you know there are many unemployed and we really can pray about this and um, I'm just really excited to see what God is doing even you know we feel we feel the crunch but at the same time God is so faithful mm -hmm. and um, he's come through in ways you know the worship teams can't meet mm -hmm. during lockdown and it's just exciting to see how they are encouraging each other on on um, WhatsApp and they're sending songs and you know we're all just enjoying every other person's genre but it's just fantastic to see how everybody still remains faithful in their worship it's really exciting yeah I think that connection is so important during this time and I know there's so many people that are battling with connection yeah. Yeah. and so there's definitely ways in which we can pray together and then also just share life stories of what's happening where you need prayer for so that's really yeah. really appreciated I know I've appreciated that in the, the worship ministry and Josh? Um, I just feel like from the youth side that a lot of teens have been struggling with uncertainty mm. in terms of their future. Mm. Um, so a lot of them don't know where they're going next year. Um, a lot of them must get to go back to school when they open again because we're not sure um, what's going to happen in the states of the country. So I think that's a huge um, prayer request from the youth side. And I just hope that the kids just stay strong for now. Yeah. Great. Well, let's spend some time in prayer. Lord, I just thank you for this opportunity that we get to come to you. And Lord, I love the way that your door is always open for us to come and pray. And Lord, I, I just give praise and thanks to you for provision on behalf of Carol. Just as I know her journey, how she was being faithful to saying God will open the right door at the right time. And you came through at the very last second. And so thank you, Lord. Thank you that you've given her the place that is specifically suited for what she needs as, yeah, as she takes on a different change in her life. So... Thank you for, for your provision. And it reminds me, Lord, that even as RBM faces an unknown future, an uncertain future, and so many different companies are facing the exact same thing right now, that we can cling to you. And I'm just reminded of that passage where the Israelites are stuck between the Red Sea and Pharaoh coming, and how you came between them, and you were the buffer, as you waited for the right time to be able to answer and lead them across that Red Sea. And so, Lord, I... I pray for RBM, I pray for every business person right now in our, in our community that is facing that uncertainty. May they know your protection right now uh, in their lives and in their business, that you are at hand and that you are at work. And that they need to be still, as Exodus 14, 14 says, be still and the Lord will fight for you. So help us to have that certainty and place our trust and hope in you during this time, Lord. Yeah, Lord, I just want to lift up the families, not just in our community, but with, within our church family as well, Lord, that are sitting at home, worried about how they're going to put food on the table, where their next meal is going to come from, Father God. 
I just really pray for your provision. Your word says that we should not worry and that you will provide for our every need. So I just want to stand on that promise, Lord, and just lift those families up to you right now, Father God. Yes, and Lord, we just think of, of our, our community right now, also in the sense of finances, uh, all coming back to, to, you know, Lord, we can just ask you. And as Maritza has, has put forward in prayer, um, that we pray for household finances and uh, for the unemployment, like for Craig and her fiancé, that that work and job doors will be open, Lord. And mm-hmm. even now, in a place where we are with with companies closing down and COVID and so many things working against it, I do pray for favour yes. for those who who need jobs, Lord, and that you would open doors and that our community would rise up again. Um, it just feels like there's such a, a attack upon people in their finances and in their homes. And we pray for them, Lord. And we just pray over those households. We pray over their marriages and their children and that they will stand faithfully and strong, Lord. And we just know in Philippians you say that we must lay our requests before you. And um, in prayer and petition, Father, we, we, we will pray and we petition with you that you will open the heavens mm-hmm. and pour out a blessing upon our church and upon our yes. people, yes. that they would not even be able to fathom it. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I just want to raise up the you to you, Lord Father God. I just pray for teens that are feeling isolated right now, Lord. I just pray that you would give them encouragement, Lord Father God, through your word. I pray that the church will be able to encourage people, um, not just teens, but even the older people as well, Jesus Christ. I just pray as well that for the less fortunate people that you would provide for them mm-hmm. as they're finding it hard through this winter, Heavenly Father. And I just pray that as a church we could work together um, as churches to, to bring the light in this dark time. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, we just thank you for your faithfulness so that we can come to you. And Lord, I also want to lift up Corrie as her message came through on, on, on Facebook on Sunday just for her family. Uh, they've had a truck stolen and there's a lot of financial implications. And just pray for your provision, that it will be sorted out, whether the truck is found, whether the insurances pay out, whatever the situation is there, Lord, I pray that you would be able to answer it and bring relief to that anxious moment in their lives. Thank you, Lord, that we get to come to you with each and every one of our requests. In Jesus' name, amen. Great, just remember, every Friday we're going to be praying, so if you would like something prayed for specifically for you, or you've got a praise item, uh, please send it to uh, to us on one of our social media platforms. Be happy for us to play, pray for it publicly here. Uh, otherwise, you can still contact us and we will pray privately for specific things that are related to you as well. So join us next Friday. Otherwise, have a great weekend and we'll see you online 8.30 uh, via our Facebook or YouTube links. Be blessed.